Hello, we're going to do payroll today. We're going to talk about the unemployment tax that you, employers have to pay. And we're focusing the, the unemployment's paid strictly by the employer for the most part. Uh, the federal unemployment rate is on the first $7,000 per employee per year. And the rate is actually, the gross rate is 6%, but if all states have a, a, an approved unemployment rate, so the states get a, the employer gets a 5.4% credit as long as they're paying into the state. So the actual rate that they have to pay for federal is 0 0.6 to 0.006. Now remember there's a federal unemployment rate and then there's a state unemployment rate. So you have to pay both of them in. Uh, the federal is used mainly for borrowing by the state and for administrative duties, whereas the state's the one actually that pays the unemployment tax, unemployment compensations when you're employed. Okay, to get the state rates vary though tremendously on what they have, and you can find that in various places what your actual rate, what the rates are. But for, to give you an instance, for Indiana, the state unemployment rate can range from 0.515 percent to 7.6. To two percent, and that's taxed on the first 9,500. So you can see this federal and state are different already. If you're in Iowa, the lowest rate is zero percent, which probably very few companies have. The maximum is eight percent, and it's taxed on the first $26,800. Now, this is per employee per year. And the even instance for California, it's 1.5 to 6.2 percent. That's on the first 7,000. But however, in California, the employee also pays 1% on the first $101,636. And this is for the disability insurance. Okay, so again, you have to look at what state is, and I know the problems tell you what the state percentages are and what the maximum are. But the federal and state do not have to equal. The $7,000, however, is the minimum. No state can be below $7,000. They can be higher than that, but not below that. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about, like I said, we're going to concentrate on the what I know causes problems, and that's the reserve ratio, because this is where you can get the percentages at. So to keep life easy, we're going to uh, give you, this is the numbers I have for the wages. This is taxable wages for unemployment, and that's to keep life easy. Um, so the first thing we have to do is find out how much do we actually pay in taxes. Now, when you do this, make sure you do not add the years in there because that really messes things up otherwise. And I'm picking, uh, I'm just going to say the state rate is 2.5% just for the sake of argument. It really doesn't make any difference um, of what rate you have, but that's going to be our state rate. And here's our, um, our, rate, our rates that we have just to be... Let's say we qualified for that. No, we've had a bad year. Okay, so what the company's paid in so far, oh, I haven't figured that out, had I? You take the this times the 2.5% and add all those up. And what the state, what they have paid into their account <clears throat> is the 42047.50. Now, I know that's a small number, but I want to work with small numbers. Okay. Um, let's assume for the sake of argument over the, they paid out a total of $400, which means their balance then in the account will be $38,47.50. Okay, that's their balance in the account. Now that's not part of the, that's not the reserve ratio yet. Okay, this is the percentages up here. To get the, we have to do the average payroll. Now the way the state does average payroll is kind of unique and different if you wanted to. It's the fourth quarter plus the first three quarters, okay? So like for the year 2012 through 13, we would actually take the 9,500 plus the 10,500 plus the 11,300 plus 11,050. And that would give you a total of 42,350. I already have these added. Okay, for the next year, we take the 10,000. This is 1314, which is the fourth quarter, and 10,250 plus 11,250 plus 11,500. And part of the reason why they do this is because remember I said you get the rate in December, so that gives you 43,000. Okay, and that's why they do the fourth quarters. And 10,200 
plus 10,300 plus 11,200 plus 11,250. Because if they waited till the December, you couldn't get your rate because they wouldn't know what you paid out for wages. Okay, so your average wage then would be uh, that's over three years. So we take the 128,300 divided by three years. So your average wage is 42,766.67. Okay, to get the reserve ratio, then we would equal the what you have in the balance divided by the balance, which is 9% is, is the reserve ratio. So your sooner rate, you come back up to this little chart here that I made up and you say, okay, 9% uh, is 5%, but it's less than 10. So your reserve ratio is 6.5, that's your, not your reserve ratio, but your tax is 6.5%. So that's your state unemployment tax rate for the coming year. <clears throat> that's how they do that. Now, some states allow for a volunteer contribution, and what that's for is to get a to try to get a lower reserve ratio. Okay, and Indiana is one of those that do, does allow for a contribution. Iowa does not. But what we have is the average payroll, which we calculated here, is forty-two thousand seven sixty-seven. Now the minimum to get the to get the how much you have to pay, um, we're at six and a half percent right now. So to get to the next lowest one, we have to have at least ten percent. So that's what we put in here is ten percent, which means the amount that we'd have to have in there would be these two multiplied together, okay? Which is forty-two thousand seven sixty-seven. We then subtract our current balance off of that. So we have um, the 4267 minus the, um, whoops, yeah, 3847.50. And we have to make a contribution of 429.17. Now, to see if that pays, we're going to say, okay, this is our wages for the coming year. Uh, 45,300. Okay, so we calculate it with the contribution, or without the contribution, and with the contribution. Okay. With, move this down one. Our rate currently is 6.5%. So if we did that, we take the 45,300 times. Okay, so we pay $2,844.50 in. With the 429 paid in, we lower our rate to 5%. So we have 5%. Okay. So we would take the 45,300 times the 5%, and that gives us 2269. But that's not our savings because we also have to add in our contribution. So the total tax that we paid in would be these two added together. Okay. What you can see is, is Still lower, so our savings in, if we did the volunteer contribution, would be the 2944.50 minus the 2694.17, or we'd save $250.33 for the year. Now, that don't sound like much, but keep in mind these could be in hundreds or in thousands, you know, it depends on the company. If they're in hundreds, then we would save $250,333 or $25,000. If it's in thousands, we'd save $250,330. $250, so, you know, it depends on. Uh, this is just an idea of how to do this. Okay. But that's how you do the reserve ratio. Okay. So the key things is uh, the find out how much you've got in the account and then take the October plus the first three quarters of the next one. That's how the state average gets your payroll. They don't add the last quarter in there because that goes into the following year. So it's the last quarter plus the three next quarters for the next year. Okay, and that's how that's how you get and then divide it by three and you add them all up to get your average payroll. Then you come over to the chart and see where does that fall at, 
and like in our case right there, it fell, it fell at 6.5%, so that's what you'd use for your unemployment rate, 6.5%. Okay, hope that helps, and uh, like I said, if if anything comes else comes up that I know people are having problems with, I'll probably be making another video for it. Okay, so uh, and have fun with this chapter, and don't let it scare you. Remember, unemployment is $7,000 per employee for federal, and the state you have to look up.